Hey guys, it's uh, rolling with Borealis. Max is lying over on his blanket there. I got uh, water still going. So I picked up after last weekend, I picked up one of the little cheap Coglins grills. They're stupid light, they're under 10 bucks usually. Because I was, uh, this whole business of trying to cook a steak on uh, <laughs> An open fire on a stick uh, that's a royal pain in the ass not to mention the fact that I was cooking wild boar so you don't uh, you don't have leeway there when it comes to uh, it has to be cooked through so you don't want any blood dripping no uh, no real pink or nothing none of that kind of stuff it's a darker meat but you can uh, you can imagine so that's one of the big things with uh, most wild game, especially out of the pig family. Bear, same same idea. They do carry parasites, but uh, yeah. Anyway, enough of that. So today we brought out some deer. There's two uh, deer back straps in there. And I got a big potato. But I mentioned earlier that I didn't bring out my bow saw, and I just wanted to show you that. still cut large diameter wood with a small saw you just need to go slow and in a circle is it as efficient as a larger saw hell no but it can be done so that being said the smaller saw is more convenient to carry one size up would even be nicer, but what I found with some of the, like the Pocket Boy 170 and uh, Baco Laplanders and stuff, is that uh, you get more of a potential to bind the blade in the cut. Not so bad on small, small, uh, small branches and stuff. You know, two, three, three inch diameter. But when you get into some of the bigger stuff, you're pulling that, trying to get as much stroke out of the blade as you can, so you end up. Uh, getting a little overzealous and not going slow and you end up binding and or breaking your blade which now you just kind of pooched yourself but just one of those things so this this is literally only taken you know a couple you know a couple of minutes just to get that far so it's more efficient than a wire or a chain rope type saw Sorry for the shakiness, I'm putting my knee on it. And here's the other part of this. If you're cutting and you start feeling your saw binding like this, you're done cutting. Because now, fold it up, put it away. If I, see if I can do this fucking one-handed, boys. Yeah, see, didn't even need to. She basically broke no problems so you can definitely definitely subsist with a smaller saw it's not that big of a deal you know Baco Laplander it's good it's light it's tough silkies are great saws but yeah definitely you know a small saw like this you can get, buy, and or make a sheath for it. Carry it on your belt. It's not any bigger than any of the knives. Not in my, in my eyes anyways. And it's, you know, it's on your belt line. It's with you. So unless you lose your damn pants, you're, you know, you're doing all right. But yeah. It's definitely, uh, definitely a plus. And... Even though I brought out my tomahawk, right? It's still more efficient to use the saw to section wood. I might use the tomahawk for felling a larger diameter tree. Just due to the fact that I'm not going to risk breaking the saw, cutting a larger tree down where the wind is 
putting forces and stuff on on the tree itself creating pinch points and, and stuff like that at random so that's that's definitely something to take into consideration guys but yeah i'm just waiting for my coals and stuff to burn down here and then i'm gonna get my meat and stuff going and uh yeah probably the next opportunity i get i'm gonna create a tripod might even do that today i'm not sure yet kind of feeling lazy so anyway ciao for now time to get lunch going